Hello. Today I am going to talk to you about Patwadan maneuver. It is a maneuver used to deliver a deeply engaged head at cesarean section. During my visits to various medical institutions abroad, I have often been asked as a professor of obstetrics and gynecology from India, what is the Patwadan maneuver and what is the difference between the Patwadan and modified Patwadan maneuver? On my return to India, I looked up the medical literature and was astonished to find that there is a paucity of authentic references on this topic. More particularly, there is no proper description of difference between the original and the modified Patwadan maneuver. Therefore, I have decided to put the maneuver in its proper perspective. I will first talk about its historical aspects, then discuss the technical minute and finally show an actual video of the maneuver. So here goes. Cesarean section sometimes has to be done late in labor after prolonged second stage with the head deeply wedged in the pelvis and absent liker. In developing countries, women are often delivered at home by the traditional birth attendant and report to the hospital late in labor if she fails in her endeavors. Deeply wedged head may be a consequence of deep transverse arrest, occipital sacral arrest, acute fetal distress late in first stage of labor with the head deep in the pelvis unanticipated cephalopelvic distortion late in labor and cervical dystocia with the head deep in the pelvis. For these cases of deeply wedged head, different techniques can be used to disengage the head prior to extraction. There are basically two types of techniques, the push technique and the pull technique. Different pull techniques that can be used are Patwadan maneuver, modified Patwadan maneuver, including reverse bridge extraction, use of a vectis or obstetrical spoon or a murderless head extractor. Push technique is performed with the assistant's finger in the vagina, pushing up the fetal head towards the uterine incision while the surgeon attempts to deliver the head in a standard fashion. When pushing the head up from vagina, try to flex the head. If possible, use three or four fingers or a cuffed hand or the palm of the hand to apply force spread widely across the presenting part. To perform the maneuver, the mother's legs should be placed in supine frog leg or modified lithotomy position. This is also referred to as abdominal vaginal delivery. Now I will discuss the Patwadan maneuver in detail. Dr. B.D. Patwadan, along with Dr. Nargis Motoshya from Wadia Hospital, Mumbai, first described in 1957 a maneuver for facilitating delivery of baby with a deeply engaged head at cesarean section. Patwadan and Motoshya originally described the shoulder's first delivery technique for delivery of a deeply engaged head with the back in anterior, that is occipital anterior position. Here, incision over the lower uterine segment is made at the level of the shoulders as the head is deeply impacted. Initially, both the shoulders are delivered along with the arms by hooking fingers in the elbows. The index and middle fingers of both the hands are then introduced in the uterus for traction over the fetal thorax in order to deliver the trunk by flexion while assistant exerts funnel pressure. This is followed by delivery of both the legs. The head is lifted out of the pelvis by traction on the legs. This is aptly demonstrated in the video at the end of the presentation. The original maneuver is only possible when the back is anterior as in occipital anterior position. However, this is not always the case. On opening the uterus, if you find that the shoulders are anterior and posterior, that is it is an occipital transverse position, or if the back is posterior, that is occipital posterior position, then the maneuver is to be modified as follows. In the first modification, the anterior shoulder is delivered along with the anterior arm by hooking a finger in the elbow if required. Posterior shoulder is rotated forward and is similarly delivered next. The trunk, breech and the lower limbs are successfully delivered by traction aided by funnel pressure later. The head is delivered last as in the original method. When the back is posterior, two fingers are inserted into uterine cavity to grab the feet by traction on both the feet combined with funnel pressure, the breech and the trunk are delivered by flexion at the thoracolumbar region. This is followed by delivery of the shoulder and arms. The head is lifted out of the pelvis last by traction on the legs. This is also known as the reverse breech extraction method. 
is a video demonstrating reverse breech extraction in a mannequin. There is another way to deliver the trunk and limbs if the back is posterior. First, one side shoulder and corresponding arm is delivered. Next, the same side leg is delivered followed by the opposite side leg and lastly the opposite side arm and shoulder. This is aided by funnel pressure. As before, the head is lifted out of the pelvis last by traction on the legs. If difficulty is encountered during the maneuver, a planned extension of the uterine incision in a J or U-shaped manner is preferred over an inadvertent uncontrolled extension of the uterine incision. The push maneuver may result in complications such as damage of the thin and elongated lower uterine segment with extension of the incision into the cervix or broad ligament, laceration of the uterine vessel resulting in increased blood loss and operating time. Exertion of considerable force on the fetal head might produce trauma to the fetal head and lastly ascending infection. Various studies comparing the two methods have shown that the pull method may result in lower maternal morbidity as compared to the traditional push method. In conclusion, the Patwadhan maneuver needs expertise but has minimal complications if anticipated and done skillfully. It is easy to learn and needs to be more widely publicized and utilized. Now watch a video of the actual case where Patwadhan technique is performed for a case with the back anterior. For further reading on this topic and other topics, refer to following textbooks written by me. Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology Modern Obstetrics Modern Gynecology Clinical Cases in Obstetrics Questions and Answers and Pelvic Reconstructive Surgery